Hello, um, I just made a tutorial on New York City, but I wanted to make another one just because I just, I don't know, I just felt like it. Um, this one's a really easy and quick tutorial. Uh, this one's called Heroes of the Afterlife. Um, my current joys too. I've wanted to make this tutorial a while just because it's really easy and it's really kind of just, I don't know, it's really addicting to play for some reason. Um, but yeah, so your guitar it's gonna be similar to New York City it's gonna be two and a half step down on each string except once you get that you're gonna to want to tune it down I think minus 30 more so 130 on each string that's what I have right now so it sounds like when he plays this live which has only been one recording that I've found of him playing it live he plays it in standard tuning and at the end he goes completely crazy so like with his afro um, it's just a lot of looping different or the same track over and over again, but he goes like crazy like going up the fretboard I don't want to do that. I just want to show how you play the studio version. So that's what I'm gonna do. So first um, You want kind of a dull guitar tone So like that don't add too much chorus or anything um So it's going to be an E major shape, so open 6th string, 2nd, uh, 5th string, 2nd, 3rd, or 4th string, and then 1st fret, 3rd third, third string, so you should have. And the, the pattern, the strumming pattern is just going to hit the 6th string, so... So you're just gonna wanna strum or hit this hit this note and then strum. So strum don't play the sixth string. You can mute it with your pinky. So just and then once you hit this string, play upwards kind of so and then hit the, the it's the second string, hit the third string, and then go back to the second. So you should have I'm not sure if my guitar is completely in tune with the song. I was just testing it out. It sounds pretty in tune, um, but I don't know. So uh, it might be minus 140. I don't know, 135. Just I, I'm, I know I'm really close to it. So, um, but you don't have to do this pattern the entire time because sometimes he just hits the third string twice instead of going back to the second string. So you can just go. You can also strum a little bit more, so just watch the way that I move my hand. You don't have to play it exactly, uh, you just want to go back and forth. Um, yeah, and then the um, only note change in the entire song until the ending is just switching to an A major 7. So. Uh, pick up, pick up your middle finger from the second fret. Keep your pointer where it is on the first fret, third string. Middle's gonna go on the second fret, fourth string, and then ring's gonna go on the second fret, uh, second string. So you just got and um, mute the sec or er, first string too. So you should have. That is the entire first part of the song. Second part of the song, I figured this out by ear, so I don't know if it's going to be exactly um, perfect, but you're going to want to do a e, the same E major 7 string, but instead... Um, um, 
you're gonna wanna put so mute the fourth string. This is just how I play it. I don't know if this is exactly like it, but so well. It, so the first part of the uh, outro, it slowly fades in, and you put your pinky on the second fret first string. So. And then near the end of the outro, um, this is how I play it. Uh, mute the fourth string with your middle, so kind of just bend it. And then put your pinky on the fourth fret, and then your ring on, or fourth fret, first string, and then your ring on the second fret, first string. And you're just going to pull off and put it back on, so. That's exactly how it probably is not. But yeah. That is the entire song. So just the outro, it's just just that. And then the other part, it's this is what I it's not I'm I'm definitely probably not exact. So this is just how I play. Because at the end you can just hear kind of these two strings going back and forth. So. And it's all looping, just the same tracks over and over again. So, um, but I don't feel like doing that. Um, but yeah, that's literally the entire song. There's nothing else. Um, in the beginning, before the drum comes in, there's just a little like, you just strum this chord once. The E major. Just like that. That's literally the entire song. Really easy. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the entire thing um yeah thanks for watching i'm probably gonna make another tutorial sometime um on fox i might actually do it what time is it 9 45 i might do it like right now um yeah uh i'm just gonna get the really easy ones out of the place so I'll, I'll also post fox the way to play that song um but yeah thank you for watching have fun playing the song